Just for this morning's gospel, these little guys have been pulled out of our nativity set here at home and put out in a field, and they're thinking, oh my gosh, it's not Christmas time. Why are we here? Well, they're here to help demonstrate a little bit about today's gospel, about Jesus as the good shepherd. And, you know, sheep were really important back in Jesus's day, and there were probably herds of them everywhere. They still are important, and there are a lot of herds of sheep. You don't see them walking up and down the street in the city of Sacramento, but up in the foothills, you'll find shepherds working with sheepdogs, and these men and women are helping to protect the sheep, helping to move them around from field to field. But sometimes things threaten them, and in the gospel we learned what happens when a wolf threatens the sheep. Couldn't find a wolf in the nativity set, but uh, we did find some other animals. We got... Uh, I don't know. That's not going to work. You know, gorillas are actually very gentle. They eat leaves and branches. I, I don't think they're going to go after the sheep here. Let's, let's try something else. How about, eh, you know, a buffalo, if it like ran over one of the sheep, that would not be a good thing. But they eat grass. They're not, they're not going to eat the sheep. So um, maybe we'll find something else. But in the meantime, here's one of the shepherds described in the gospel. This is a shepherd who is just, he doesn't really care about the sheep. They're not his sheep, and somebody just hired him. He, he's hoping to go home early from work. And, and so when a giant cat comes around, like a mountain lion, he's thinking to himself, I don't know, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm going to head on home here. But Jesus is portrayed as a, a shepherd who would actually give up his own life to protect those sheep. And uh, that's exactly the kind of shepherd he is looking out for us. You know, there's another gospel lesson where if just one of the sheep is missing, the shepherd is going to leave the other 99 sheep. Of course, maybe there's a, a sheepdog who's helping the, 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 the shepherd keep them all in one place. But the shepherd, she is going to leave those 99 sheep, go look for the lost one, which, you know, if you think of yourself as a shepherd for your family and friends, if you had a, a good friend or a brother or a sister that was missing, you'd probably help go look for that person. You, you wouldn't say, oh, I've got a TV show I want to watch. You, you actually would go out and help look for them. And that's that's the way Jesus is as our shepherd. Will you uh, pray with me for a moment? Lord, thank you for being our shepherd and for watching over us every day, wherever we may be. Let us always be listening for your voice so that we may follow you. And to that, all God's children say, Amen. Amen.